we don't have a treatment for dengue and there are so many unanswered questions about dengue. The ultimate thing I want to do is to find a solution and drug and, and treatment for dengue. From childhood, I was very curious and uh, wanted to discover things and was specially inclined to uh, answering questions in, in medical research. But in Sri Lanka, there was no opportunity to directly go into research uh, and uh, to do scientific discovery. Uh, so I became a doctor and then, of course, uh, ventured into uh, scientific research as a medical doctor. My initial journey in science began when I was doing my PhD in Oxford. Most of my time is spent on looking at data uh, results generated by all these uh, various people in my lab working on dengue, COVID, uh, the microbiome and, and all these things and planning the next set of experiments. The biggest challenges uh, I faced as a, as a woman working in uh, this field in STEM is trying to balance uh, or look after my kids and uh, trying to do work at the same time. In other countries, there are a lot of support systems to look after children. Very, very good quality childcare. Unfortunately, in Sri Lanka, this privilege is not there for most people. We see more and more women actually being, uh, being interested in uh, pursuing a career and going up the ladder in science, not just limiting themselves to stop uh, working in a scientific field after undergraduate career, but going on to postgraduate studies and even higher. In our department, we have a large group of uh, women scientists at different stages of their career, and it is so lovely to see them grow. Currently, we are collaborating with uh, so many international organizations and institutes, uh, from University of Oxford to University of Berkeley, Duke and US Singapore and so on. We collaborate on studies on dengue, on, uh, on COVID, but mostly on dengue, looking at why people get severe disease, finding therapeutics and so on. My message on this International Day of Women in Science is sometimes life is very, very difficult at certain stages of your life, but you keep to hang in there and keep going and do not stop. People can find me on Twitter and on LinkedIn. I regularly update uh, my work. We have a website uh, of the Allergy Immunology Cell Biology Unit. You can find all the details of the events, the courses we conduct, our research, everything on that website.